All right, Shalom. Let's get right into this. Um, I want to post this to be able to post this up there for the I am doing this particular season, even though this is a rehearsal to um, to the Ethiopian Pesach, which is coming in a couple of weeks. And for those who might not understand that, um, we try to touch on that in some of the vids. And um, we'll go through that again. All right. So um, for those who need to, they can check out some of the other vids, like the Double Palm Sunday, um, where we talk about the calendar. All right. So here we have the unleavened bread. Now, as we mentioned before, the unleavened bread is is a powerful symbol on, on so many different levels, both the exoteric level as well as the esoteric. In other words, on the outer level, there's a meaning, right, as well as there's an inner meaning. Now, what we wanted to touch on, right, right here, if we can, is, is Isaiah. Mm-hmm. I know it's difficult, brothers and sisters, you know, there's challenges. Sometimes we always don't, you know, um, do what we um, want to do and what we know is the correct thing. And there's, there's a certain amount of, of, of guilt and, and, and shame. This is why it's so important, the, the remembrance Right of the cross and of Christ and the understanding of the real meaning of it. You see, because we have to take on that meaning of it. And in ignorance, we 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 don't receive that, and that keeps us in this in this uh, uh, like a frozen psychological state, uh, almost like indigestion in a sense, a, a kind of a spiritual indigestion, not able to fully comprehend and to fully um, um, digest the real. Um, meaning or, or to be able to eat the bread, as it were, and to be able to drink the wine, right, which are the sacraments. These are the sacraments. Now, what's interesting is that we're in um, Vayikra or Orit Zelewawiyan in this particular season. In fact, the past Shabbat, we just began that, and that would be the 24th. I think a uh, Hite. Um, Salamawi had, had texted me on that, so just to remind her, and, and I hope that all of you also know that this is, in, in the sabbatical reading, in the Sabbath reading, in the weekly readings, this would be the Sabbath of uh, Vayikra, and he called, Jah is calling, Aina, it's, it's a spiritual calling, if you can hear that small, still voice, he's calling Aina out of spiritual confusion, out of secret confusion, mystery Babylon, and calling us into the true light, the true interpretation, the true understanding of his gospel, of the gospel of the King of Kings, of the gospel of grace. It's the gospel of grace, my brothers and sisters. So right here we had touched on previously, right in the previous portion, we touched on this verse right here, which speaks of um, in 1 Corinthians 5 and 7, to purge out, therefore, the old leaven. Now, Huario Paulos is saying this to the, to the Christian, but many of them, um, many of them are, are Hebrews as well as, as Gentiles. Even the Gentiles, and we're coming from a Gentile um, Western interpretation or misinterpretation, lost in translation, not just the language, but the meaning. We have to be able to translate this meaning. So when it speaks about the unleavened, these are the days of the unleavened bread, what is the significance of it? What is the significance of purging out that, what's called that old leaven, right? Purging out that old leaven. If you read this verse right here with me, we're in First Corinthians five and five and 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 uh, seven, right? Where Christ, right? Christos, the Black Messiah, Yeshua Hamashiach, He is our Passover. In other words, He is our Lamb. This is where the significance of the Lamb of God. 
he is he's actually God's lamb that was given on our behalf right to purge our spiritual our psychological right and in the redemption of the body right even restore us to where we fell from as children of God right to, to, to restore us and I, I said to restore even that melanin to restore that black dot that we have that but it's not working for us because of the psychic trauma right and and the indigestion to what the real meaning of the psychic trauma of the cross really is and ones can call it white supremacy but it goes beyond the white man the European in the sense that the white man or the European is a tool or has been because he made a de some of them made a deal with the devil right and has been a tool of the devil but even them themselves have been deceived right deceived that they did these things not realizing or recognizing right the prophetic fulfillment right of Christos of Yeshua our of Christos Moshiach our Passover right so here we see the broken bread now um, Isaiah chapter 53 is very interesting, and some of y'all may be familiar with Isaiah chapter 53, right? I want you to take a note of it. And get, this might be a short portion, uh, a short segment, and um, another segment coming up after this, and hopefully a lo little longer segment to really touch on these seven days of the unleavened bread. Now, why is this significant? This is significant because um, if you turn to um, Leviticus let's turn to Leviticus chapter 23 if we turn to Leviticus chapter 23 right it speaks of the feast of Yahweh the Sabbath and the feast right and it says and Yahweh spake to Moses saying speak to the children of Israel now who are we see we have to know who we are Amos 9 and 7 says aren't you like the children of the Ethiopians unto me O children of Israel Therefore, we as Ethiopian Hebrews, this applies to us in the Kidanach, in, in, in the Al Kidan, in the covenant, in the new covenant, in the Hadith, the Hadith Kidan. Speak to the children of Israel and say to them concerning the feast of Yahweh. These are the true feasts of the King of Kings, Rastafari, which ye shall proclaim to be holy convocations. Even these are my feasts. Six days shall work be done. Six days shall work be done. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of rest, a holy convocation. Ye shall do no work therein. In other words, we don't do our occupational labor. So this even helps us to get our lives in Josh's true order. And prepares us both the peace of mind the shalom the wholeness both in our health as well as in our wealth when we follow his way and submit ourselves to his order so we have the six days of work and the holy convocation day the day of rest where we would do no work therein